Hey there guys, how's it going? This is Vexwork here, and welcome to kind of a hybrid of tutorials, I suppose. Uh, in fact, that the programs um, that we're going to be using here are actually two different programs, but they're going to kind of correspond with each other in the way that we're going to use them. So, what we have here is Anime Studio, and down here is Game Maker. And as you can see, we have a little character here that I created in Anime Studio, and has some little walk cycle and just stuff like that. You know, really simple character. And in Game Maker, we have the same exact character, but on a smaller scale, and actually used as an object. So, basically, what we're going to be doing today is uh, getting characters that we created in Anime Studio, giving them walk cycles, and uh, well, I guess not really giving them walk cycles because I already created a character with a walk cycle, but you know, with animation and whatnot, um, and then basically showing you guys how to use those characters with animations or without, you know, whatever you prefer. Um, maybe you want to use like a maybe just an idle crate as an object in your game or something like that. But um, basically, what I'm going to show you guys is how to take that object in Anime Studio and basically export it in a format so that we can import it back into Game maker and use it as an actual object for your game so without further ado let's just go ahead and exit this little preview screen here and uh, go back into anime studio and here we are and let's begin so uh, first off just a few little details about this character here one um, there's the like the only things that are going on here there's nothing special going on with this character the only thing is that uh, he has three different layers and uh, that's just for organization you know I just want to make sure that when I create these layers and I'm moving them around and uh, you know I can actually easily move them without selecting something else so they're in their own separate layers you know nothing fancy going on there and um, as you guys can see you know nothing's really been tinkered with and uh, then I just went ahead and created a simple little walk cycle animation up to frame 24 then I just went ahead and right clicked on the end of the frame and hit cycle all the way back to uh, frame one so just keep cycling over and over and over again um, <clears throat> And then the next thing that I went ahead and did is I uh, just went ahead and just kind of colored his little body there. And I also added some shading, as you guys can see. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that, I suppose. And so it really, I mean, you can add textures, you can add different kind of uh, effects, whatever, to your object. And it won't really matter in the long run. Because all we're just going to be doing here is uh, creating a whole bunch of separate image files of each one of these frames of animation. So now that you've got your character in here all loaded up and such, let's go ahead and go to the next step, which is File and go to Project Settings. All right, now that we're in project settings, we want to go ahead and change up the dimensions of the bounding box. What exactly is a bounding box, you may ask? Well, basically, it's this little blue thing here that you guys see around my character. And uh, originally, it will be a really big, like, 800 by, uh, I don't know, something for the height. I forgot the dimensions. But it will be somewhat big, and uh, chances are it will be bigger than your character. So, uh, in that case, what you want to go ahead and do is just switch up the dimensions here. Here you can see I have uh, 400 by 400 for the width and height of this little b uh, blue bounding dimension whatever box whatever you want to call it and um, <clears throat> for the frame rate um, you don't really need to change that up it should be fine at uh, 24 uh, you can go ahead and tinker with it if you like but you can really just change that inside of game maker um, that's kind of just the speed of the uh, of the frames of the animation so you know nothing really uh, too much to tinker with there uh, uh, <laughs> In our talk today, 24 frames should be fine. And for the start frame and end frame, you want to make sure that when you have these set, that they do match up with your animation. So as you can see, my walk cycle starts at frame 1, and it goes all the way to frame 24. So in that case, my start frame for this animation here, for my character when it gets exported, is going to start as frame 1, and uh, it's going to end on frame 24. Now, that is all set. Next thing you want to go ahead and do is go to background color. Now, this is actually really important because of the fact that in, um, I guess, the process or method, whatever you want to call it, uh, that we're going to be using today uh, to export this character is going to be basically um, similar to, uh, well, I guess it is, uh, in a sense, sprites. Um, of how sprites are created and such. So you want to make sure that the background color is kind of like a black, uh, a little less than black, I suppose, almost a grayish. So as you can see, I have mine uh, right about here, but you can set it you know, maybe a little higher if you need to. Um, but this is basically just to make sure that um, when, um, let's go ahead and hit OK here because that's all that we actually need to do in our project settings. Uh, when you render your character, Control R here, um, and my character does have some black outlines. And if it was totally black, um, you know, I wouldn't be able to get those black outlines in and uh, it would just be a whole bunch of a, of a mess so uh, I went ahead and just went you know, a little bit higher of a black and uh, that way we can see our characters outlines and such and he shows up very nicely so let's go and uh, exit out of that render there now the next thing we want to go and do once we've all set up our project settings our bounding box and whatnot we've created a little animation and stuff for our character what we want to go ahead and do next is go back to file and go to export 
Okay, now this is where things start to get uh, a little bit magical here, if I do say so myself. Um, what we're going to do is, in start frame, obviously, same thing, uh, corresponds to your animation start frame. It's going to start at 1, and uh, end frame is going to end when your animation of your character ends. So, my walk cycle here and uh, uh, frame 24. So, frame 24 is going to be my end frame. And um, what we could do here is a couple things, just to kind of reduce uh, how long, you know, the rendering takes and uh, stuff like that. Uh, extra smooth images, um, you do usually want to check that just so you still contain that smoothness um, that you originally have in the character um, and render at half frame rate you also want to check that as well I mean you don't have to but you can just so the rendering process doesn't take as long and uh, you know it's still efficient and that uh, still works just as good Alright, so another thing you want to go ahead and do, and this is actually the last thing, is the output format. You want to make sure that it is a PNG or JPEG. Um, I haven't really tried JPEG myself, but I know PNG works for sure. And uh, basically, these are actually picture formats, in case you didn't know. And, um... <clears throat> The reason why we're actually exporting into picture formats is because, as I mentioned earlier, um, this is going to become a sprite object because that's what GameMaker accepts. And so basically, once we're finished exporting it, it's going to look like this. A whole bunch of little frames of our entire animation. So, uh, simply with that said, what we're going to go and do is, now that we've set up all our stuff here, we're going to go and hit OK. And uh, I've already created a little uh, folder for this test character, but I'm going to go ahead and control A, and I cannot. So, let's go and create a little subfolder, new folder, and uh, we'll name this test character 2. There we go. Alright, and uh, test character animated, uh, we'll just name it number 2 as well, and hit OK, or save. <laughs> Alright, and there we go. And it was a really simple, you know, walk cycle and character, so it doesn't really take too long. So now we can go ahead and uh, just go to Game Maker here. And we're going to go and uh, just delete this character here and uh, delete this object, just like we're starting brand new. And delete it from there. Actually, we can't. There we go. <laughs> nice new fresh room. Okay, so in Game Maker, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to Create Sprite and uh, Edit Sprite. And we're not going to go ahead and create a new sprite. We're going to actually go to File and uh, Create from File. And uh, I'm already in the test character folder here, but uh, what we want to do is, this is our test character 2, which I j uh, just saved. We're going to click on one of our frames here, and we're going to go Control A, or we can actually go uh, right click and just, um, actually, can we do that? We should be able to do that. Maybe we can't. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> Just uh, click on one of your uh, one of your frames here, one of your pictures, and hit Control A, and uh, hit Open. That will select them all. And there we go. Now, whoa! What is going on here? As you can see, there are some very big images going on here, and that is definitely not what we want to have. So, uh, kind of shrink this down to a more reasonable size. We're going to go Transform, and uh, you want to make sure that you're in this uh, this kind of area too. You don't want to individually click and just do it like this. You want to make sure that you're on your uh, kind of the uh, base of your sprite uh, here, and go to Transform and go to Stretch. And uh, over here, where it says uh, pixels, don't really want to change the, uh, the new size over here. And uh, where it says pixels, you want to go ahead and just type in something reasonable, like uh, 64 should work fine. And uh, there we go. As you can see, our characters are nice and, and shrunk, our little images here. We have a nice little frame going on of our uh, little walk cycle. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and center this, just because, uh, you know, I, I like to do that with some of my sprites here. And create an object, and uh, choose a sprite you just created. And uh, hit OK, and go ahead and uh, in your objects here, in your room, if you haven't created a room, just go ahead and you know create a room. Uh, place your object, I'm going to delete this one here. <laughs> place your object somewhere in the room, hit Run, and bazam, there we go, there is our nice little character, but you'll notice he is going a little fast. Now to fix this, this is just really simple, go into your object, hit Add Event, and uh, Create, go over to the main one tab, and click and drag over a change sprite action. We could also do this in code as well, but I'm just going to do change sprite just to uh, get this out really quickly. Now you want to go ahead and choose your sprite one, and uh, sub image is just keep it zero for now, that will make sure that the entire animation is getting affected, and speed uh, 0 0.5, that should be a bit more reasonable, hit Enter or OK. And let's go ahead and replay this again and see how fast he goes now. Alright, and that's going eh, a little too slow. Maybe we could change it up to like 0.7 or something, but I think you guys get the idea. So, with that said, guys, that is pretty much it. That is, I'm just going to play that so it's you know something to look at here. <laughs> that is uh, the end of the tutorial. That is how to create characters in Anime Studio where, you know, objects, whatever, import them, uh, or rather export them, and then import them back into Game Maker to use them as objects and uh, stuff like that. So, hopefully this helped you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and whatnot. And feel free to comment, right, subscribe, you know, all the different kind of stuff. And uh, until next time, guys, this has been Rex Furry, and uh, I'll see you all next video.